My name is Daniel Arco, and I am going to read you a story, Andy and the Lion, by James Doherty. It was a bright day, with just enough wind to float a flag. Andy started down to the library to get a book about lions. He took the book home and read and read. Andy read all through supper and he read all evening. And just before bedtime, his grandfather told him some tall stories about hunting lions in Africa. Every story ended with, and then I gave him both barrels. That night, Andy dreamed all night long that he was in Africa, hunting lions. When at last morning came, Andy woke up. The sun was looking in at the window, and Prince was tugging at the bedclothes. The lions had left, but Andy kept thinking about them. Andy thought lions on the back porch. And his father had to remind him to wash behind his ears. Andy was still thinking lions after breakfast when his mother gave his hair a final brush. And Andy started off to school. walked along, swinging his books and whistling a tune. As he came to the turn in the road, he noticed something sticking out from behind the big rock just at the bend. It looked very queer. So Andy and Prince crept up cautiously to investigate. It moved. It was a lion. At this moment, Andy thought he'd better be going. And the lion thought so too. They ran and ran around the rock. Whichever way that Andy ran, there was the lion. Whichever way the lion ran, 
there was Andy. At last, they both stopped for breath. The lion held out his paw to show Andy what was the matter. It was a big thorn stuck in his paw. But Andy had an idea. He told the lion to just be patient, and they'd have that thorn out in no time. Fortunately, Andy always carried his pliers in the back pocket of his overalls. He took them out and got a tight grip. Then Andy braced one foot against the lion's paw and pulled with all his might until the thorn came out. The grateful lion licked Andy's face to show how pleased he was. But it was time to part. So they waved goodbye. Andy went on to school, and the lion went off about the business of being a lion. In the spring, the circus came to town. Of course, Andy went. He wanted to see the famous lion act. Right in the middle of the act, the biggest lion jumped out of the high steel cage and with a terrible roar, dashed straight toward the people. They ran for their lives. And in the scramble, Andy found himself right in the lion's path. He thought his last moment had come. But then, who should it be but Andy's own lion? They recognized each other and danced for joy. When the crowd came back ready to fight the lion and capture him, Andy stood in front of the lion and shouted to the angry people, do not hurt this lion. He's a friend of mine. Then, the next day, Andy led the lion and all the people in a grand parade down Main Street to the city hall. There, the mayor presented Andy with a medal for bravery. And the lion was very much pleased. And the next day, Andy took the book back to the library. Mm -hmm. 